These preachers claim they can cure anything through God. Even the incurable HIV. But it's a message that can kill. We sent undercover reporters to register for the Synagogue Church of All Nations. I, I've been unwell for a very long time. Um, I have HIV. You know, what, what you're embarking on is just a process, all right? All I can say is that, you know, you can go onto the internet, there's numerous testimonies, okay, of people who, by God's grace, are now healed and set free and are living exactly as, as you said. You know, they've got children and mm -hmm. um, they're, they're perfectly happy. And, and they've yeah. got the same problem as me. Yes. yes. Having given proof of her illness, she's told when she's cured, she won't need medication. If it is God's plan to bring your your blood level, you know, your your immune levels back back to normal, you know, and without without having to be propped up with medication for the rest of your life, which is we know what well, a medical professional that's the best they can do, isn't it? The same advice is being given across the country. One man we met, Emmanuel, who's HIV positive, stopped taking his pills a year ago, but he's still sick. He told me I've been healed, you've got to stop taking medicine now. I'll keep on playing for you. I can't walk quite such quite a long distance, so just because my knees can't, can't make that anymore. Do you worry that maybe you haven't been healed and that you should actually be taking medicine? No, the priest told me that he, being healed doesn't take, it's not one day. Thinking he was cured, Emmanuel now fears he's infected his partner. The question is, how many more could unknowingly be put at risk? It is bad advice, it is foolish advice, and it is tragic advice, because the consequences of uh, this kind of advice can only be that uh, people uh, pass on HIV and can only be uh, seriously bad for the individual concerned, including death. In fact, medical professionals have sent us evidence of at least six people who've died having stopped taking their medication because churches told them they'd been healed. The Synagogue Church of All Nations benefits financially as the congregation gives donations and they can buy merchandise from the website. It's my first time to have an experience with this anointing water, but I believe my life is changed. Be free! Armed with our evidence, we went to confront the church about its practices. You told three of my friends now that through God, you can cure HIV. Not me, no. I believe, I believe that God can cure HIV. But you've been telling people that you can do healings that will cure their HIV. Me, yeah. Not me personally. I believe that Jesus is the healer. I work for Sky News. Well, yeah, we have a camera, so yeah, you, the, the message you're spreading is very much. It's very dangerous, though, isn't it? The message you're spreading because people believe they've been cured. As I said, we don't have any comment at this time. There's plenty of evidence to suggest faith can help people deal with illness. But here, it appears faith is being abused. Liz Lane, Sky News.